Alrighty, welcome to another video. So here's the star of our show, the Intel Core Duo T2700. It's a 32-bit only CPU, probably one of, if not the final ones that Intel produced. And we'll just take a quick look here. We've got a 32-bit Windows 10 operating system because this CPU does not support 64-bit operating systems or operations at all. And with it, we have the 8800 GTX, which is on NVIDIA's side, the very first unified shaders card. Anyway, let's get into some Minecraft Bedrock Edition, because fun fact, even though Mojang says slash or even though Mojang since, even though Mojang slash Microsoft said that Minecraft would be dropping support for 32-bit Windows, or I guess 32-bit architectures at all. Yeah, Bedrock still runs on it as well. So, yeah. And yeah, the upcoming video, that's going to be uh, some stuff about mod pack comparisons. Just a quick spoiler, fabulously optimized crashes on 32-bit systems. But, yeah. What I'm doing here is Minecraft Bedrock Edition on an 18-year-old processor. And it actually runs decently smoothly, so let me just, like, load into a uh, world here real quick. And I'll also go ahead and grab the, or do the final task on that event that you just saw on the splash, on the main menu screen there. So the main, honestly, I'd say that the main thing holding the system back is that chunk generation is not that quick. Because aside from having to wait for chunks to load in, the gameplay is actually quite playable, honestly. All right, just gotta wait. And it's loading off an SSD as well. So in this case, it's purely just hardware bottlenecks. It's not like it's loading off of a mechanical drive this time. Also, don't mind the fact that I have an unactivated Windows 10 copy on this system. I don't intend to keep Windows 10 around for long on this, though it is actually surprisingly fluid as far as usability goes with this SSD installed. Still loading. And we're almost in. There we go. And we're in a world. Okay, so yeah, once you're actually in a world, don't mind the graphical glitches there. Once you're actually in a world, you can play Minecraft just fine. Like you are not really going to notice all that much that this is all running on an 18 year old system. Like, the most noticeable part, as mentioned, is the fact that chunks kind of take a while to load in, but aside from that, the game plays very smoothly. And part of this is obviously just due to the fact that Bedrock is written in native code, and so it's not going through a virtual machine like Java Edition is, so that does definitely help with performance. But even then, for a modern game to be running this well on 18-year-old 32-bit only hardware, it is a very big surprise that it's able to do it this well. So also, once again, to be fair, it's Minecraft. It's not like it's particularly heavy of a game in the first place. But being a game that normally is known to 
especially hit the CPU hard, this Core 2 Duo, or no, not Core 2 Duo, this Core Duo is holding out very, very well. So yeah, and I, you just kind of have to wait on the chunk boundary for things to finish loading in. But if you want to do anything inside the world, you have no issue whatsoever. Okay, that's a bit strange with the audio delay. But yeah. Anyway, that's enough of single player there. And now let's go ahead and join the event. Join now. And I should have all but the final task complete. So I will be getting that 15 year anniversary cape on an 18 year old computer. Wait for it. We'll also note that as far as joining servers go, I am using a USB Wi-Fi dongle that, like, I think comes from the days of Windows 7, so. Internet connection is not that great here. But it works. You just gotta wait for the world to load in, which takes a little while. Oh, okay. Looks like we're about to start. All right, here we go. Okay, I've already got all the required hats. Challenge list is almost completely filled. I just need to finish the final one, Mystery Cave Challenge. So this final Mystery Cave Challenge, if I remember correctly, I should be heading over to Grid Runners over here. And then I go up here. And just as a side note, on servers, there is a bit more noticeable stutter, as you can see here. And I think that's partly due to just the sheer number of things that are happening at once. Like, on single player, you have to deal with the internal server and all. On multiplayer, looks like that's the final one. So I gotta clap at the door and do something with the frog. But on multiplayer, almost all the work is now on the GPU instead. And given how the 8800 GTX itself is also quite an old graphics part at this point, and it looks more like I'm getting stuttering from graphical rendering rather than CPU style stutter. I think it might be the graphics card that's holding us back this time around here on Bedrock. Meanwhile, in Java, it's almost exclusively the CPU that's holding things back. Anyway. It's still a playable experience in my book, considering how, you know, I kind of grew up on Intel integrated graphics. So uh, I, at least personally, I don't mind this. Come on, let me in. Takes a little while. If you watched my previous video, you'll also know that Among Us is another modern game that still runs quite well on this ancient hardware. Okay. Here we go. Over here, wait for the chunks. 
Okay, so something about heading to the door at, I think, the castle, if I remember correctly. Oh, oh, I almost fell there. I think that's the castle that I want to go to over there. Oh, that's a bit of lag. Okay, how do I get up the right spot? So I'm not really concerned about winning or... Ah, okay. Yeah, there it is right there. Okay, so I got a emote. I got to do a clap. Okay. Now I got to find the frog. Ooh, why am I lagging so much inside the castle here? Where am I supposed to go? Ah, here we go, here we go. Oh, that's the wrong frog. Where's the right frog? It's not the frog I'm looking for. Where's the frog with the crown? Do I have to parkour over here? Do I have to parkour at, what, 10 FPS? Oh. Oh, I fell. Saw something there. Stop it. I don't want to be boosted over yet. I want to take a look. There we go. Okay, looks like this is the next stage of the parkour. Ooh. Okay, so playing on a bedrock server is not the smoothest experience from how it looks. I had a smoother experience on iPixel on Java Edition. Okay, looks like I right click there. And I think it's the frog. Hey, there we go. And I got it. All right, let's keep on doing the parkour or the course. Oof, hitting the wall.
And there we go. Well, that's it. So it's not there. Let's go back to the hub. And I think I might have to put out of the server entirely to see the cosmetic. Thank you, Minecraft Music. This is very clearly fitting for a loading screen. I'm almost there. Come on. Okay. Got the music back. Loading. And there we go. Let's see. Okay, dressing room. Yes, I know. Okay, let's edit. See these options. Where's where's shape? No, well, let's ignore the shape for now then. <laughs> um. Let's see if I can access the capes on. No. Hmm. That's strange. Okay. Wait. Is it founder's cape? No, that's not the one. I really do not know how to like browse this. I'm just used to using regular skin. Uh, I think the crown should be in bedwear. Or not? Where it be? Oh, well, whatever. I'll figure it out later. Anyway, yeah, that's Minecraft Bedrock Edition on an 18-year-old computer. It, it mostly works. It's, I wouldn't recommend joining a server with it. I like how it says Generating World and all I'm doing is loading into the main menu. Come on. There we go. And let's just check one more time. Oh. I'll figure that out later then, I guess. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video while where we'll most likely be returning to Windows 7. The Windows 10 overhead is not fun. <laughs> and then after that, we'll probably be doing some stuff on Linux. But yeah, Windows 10 with only these two things open right now, 1.6 gig used out of a total of three usable gigabytes of memory. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, see y'all.